Hello! Well, uh, in this episode of Finno Greek Machining, we are going to make uh, two uh, uh, gears. <laughs> well, uh, 70 teeth, module 1 gears, like this. Oh, yeah, okay. So, uh, these gears, uh, they have, uh, well, uh, quite, uh, they must have uh, precise dimensions. Uh, the outer dimension must be precise and also the inside uh, must be really precise. Uh, I mean, the, thick the thickness must be quite precise and uh, so must be the hole be. It must be concentric and precise. Well, uh, all in all, the, all the dim dimensions should be really precise. So, how, how, how do I make this? Well, uh, that will... Uh, uh, I will... Uh, uh, well, it will be somewhat uh, difficult, but uh, it can be done. And uh, then, uh, well... Uh, then, uh, what are these used for? These are used for... These are used for uh, for uh, uh, an oil pump. I will show you an animation next. Uh, what is uh, what, what is this gear pump <laughs> and how it operates and uh, and so on. And then you w will also understand why the dimensions must be so precise. Uh, you can find these type of pumps uh, well. Uh, as an oil pump, because it's, uh, well, quite simple, actually. Uh, it's also quite frequently used as an, uh, a hydraulic uh, pump, but it may also be used as an hydraulic motor. Well, uh, yeah. But uh, let's go and uh, see uh, the animation first, uh, that one. <laughs> well, uh, that was uh, the gear pump animation. Hopefully you liked it. I tried to make it uh, quite self-explanatory. And uh, yeah, uh, so now, uh, well, uh, next uh, it will be the uh, place. Okay, now, um, yeah, uh, well, here is uh, <laughs> the stock, it's a uh, 20 millimeters uh, cold rolled uh, mild steel. Uh, well, uh, probably those gears should be made out of something better material, but uh, well, yeah. Okay, uh, so I'm just uh, now facing this. Uh, when I now first find my safety goggles, these are always essential. Uh, well, let's see. 
but it's a little bit wiggly. The surface is really bad. Let's try to make it a little better. Just feed slowly with cutting oil. Much better. Okay, that's now faced. And uh, well, yeah, next step drill a hole. And now we are going to make an exact uh, 8mm hole there. So I will first drill it, then, well, let's first put a center in there so that I can. Wow. This is just to start the drill. Okay. There you are. It should now start the drill quite all right. And then we take a 7.5 millimeter. Is it 7.5? Yes, it is. <laughs> I have to ensure every time that it is. I will slow down it a little bit. Then we will uh, drill quite long. Well, not quite long, just some here. Let's see now. Well, the trick here, uh, when you start uh, drilling like this, is not to uh, uh, creep in. Uh, to push it can uh, quite uh, decently into there first. So then it usually starts better. Uh, this material is really soft. <laughs> ai, 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 ai. Now it's certainly deep enough. Okay. There you are. Next step is to bore it. Uh, why bore? Uh, well, uh, that hole is uh, not concentric at the moment. The drills, uh, well, uh, seldomly make a perfectly uh, uh, concentric hole. The holes are also Usually a little bit, uh, how would I say, uh, like uh, not round. And when you put a reamer into there, the reamer doesn't make it straight. It will follow an existing hole. And, uh, well, that's not good. So, therefore, let's make... Uh, well, this was 7.5 and our goal is... Uh, well, it's uh, uh, 8, so now I will make this uh, uh, just touch it, so that it uh, uh, um, really is straight. So let's see first of all that our bar gets in, yes, and uh, this is so that uh, it doesn't need to be all the way. You only need at the start, very start, you need uh, something like, uh, I think, uh, seven, 
eight millimeters is well enough here. Well, let's see now. A little bit higher speed again. That's it. Now we have a very, very decent surface there. Good. Uh, that's, uh, that was our goal, to have a decent surface inside there. And it's concentric and, uh, yeah. And uh, this is an, uh, this here is an 8H8 reamer. Well, we have, we have almost 20, that's good, and it uh, made even more into there, so yeah, okay, done. Oh yeah, let's measure it now. It should be, uh, well, 19.75, that would be like, uh, and it's uh, 76, <laughs> uh, well, uh, okay, uh, I'm just thinking that uh, we might need to have a dial indicator here, to get it really correctly, and uh, where do I put it, I think I will uh, measure against the tail stock actually. Well, I did set up my dial indicator here, and uh, well, it's measuring uh, the uh, cross light movements uh, against the, uh, the quill of my tailstock. And uh, well, actually, when I move it like this, there is no deviation in, in the instrument, and uh, it's touching. <laughs> So actually this is now, uh, I should move it half the distance, so 12.5, like there, oh, wow, it was too much, I wish I had a carriage lock, cross light lock in this lathe, but unfortunately I don't, so... At least the surface is. So, uh, what was my estimation? 19.25. Uh, we are there. Yeah. Okay. So now you see it. <laughs> it's, uh, well, 19.25. Very exactly, actually. So, so. 0.25 millimeters away now means uh, 12.5 millimeters from radius. 12.5 millimeters from Idiot. radius. So, should be there. After this, this should be very exactly 19 millimeters. Let's measure it. 
Well, you cannot blame this for a bad surface. <laughs> it's uh, really good, actually. Well, it's two hundredths of a millimeter undersize at this end. Two hundredths of a millimeter undersize. Uh, that's actually all right. I leave it like that. It's uh, well. It means that uh, when uh, when I make the teeth into there, they will there will be a zero point uh, zero one hundredths of a millimeter gap around the hole because the hole is exactly. 19 millimeters so we should be uh, well it should be really good uh, well oversize would probably have been better but uh, this will do okay uh, next step uh, i will part two uh, planks out from that Taking my odd pile, no, the pile is not odd, uh, the materials in that pile are odd. Taking, uh, digging my pile of odd materials, I found this, and uh, this is actually becoming an arbor. <laughs> well, uh, I hacked, so there was uh, a thing at this end, I used my hack so to cut it off, and now I will face that. Uh, this is not going to be the active end, so to say. It's uh, going to be the, uh, well, uh, well, I handle that end, so I just uh, make it so that I don't cut myself uh, self with uh, that one. Okay, that's enough. Yeah, okay. Let's see. I will change the material if this is hard. Uh, hard. We shall see it very soon. Wow. And the surface is... Oh, wow! Really nice surface, actually. So let's see now. Uh, I want to uh, see what the, what the what is the diameter in, uh, here now. Uh, let's take it like this. Uh, well, this should be the correct dimension right away, but let's see now. The chips are really interesting. Ha! Huh. Well, we should be now in our target dimension there. Well, and the surface became like... Uh, oh, wow. Well, that's uh, the plus side of this material. It uh, produces... I really don't know what the material is, so... Okay, let's go.
quite a lot. Very squeaky sound. <laughs> okay, now let's measure it. So we know how much we have left. It's a nine point something, I don't know. Uh, nine point seventy. There you are. Okay. Now we just keep on turning until we are at zero. Nine millimeters, really. Well, we are actually it's uh, nine point uh, nine and uh, five uh, microns over, so right in between the lines here. Wow, these chips are a little bit uh, dangerous, I believe. Let's measure it. it. We should have uh, 0 0.25 millimeters more to go, but well, actually, we have. <laughs> Very good. It becomes an accurate mandrel, this one. This is now the last pass, so. Okay, I leave it there now. Uh, to lock the carriage here. Albeit it's really small, but we have a radius there, uh, there in the corner. I don't want there to be any radiuses, uh, because uh, we have uh, those pieces which don't have a radius and which should not be chamfered. So, therefore, I need to plug in this just a little bit. Let's see now how this behaves. This can break my tool, really. So it's 0 0.1 millimeters from diameter. Well, that's enough. I believe that's no, no, that's enough. And then I feed in with the top slide a little bit. Like that, and then I face this surface. I want it to be ab absolutely straight because this is the surface where this. Okay, there you are. Now we should have a so that they can go. Well, now is the moment of truth. <laughs> Whether my pieces can go, can go inside there, like this one, for example. Perfect. Yeah, it's perfect. Good. We also need back here like that and then I can start this well it cuts it's quite hard oh wow let's put even lower here this is really hard hopefully it doesn't destroy my Die. Wow. Huh. 
This is almost hot now. Wow. Uh, but it's uh, the threads are now all right. At least the length, and uh, they are not straight. But that's not uh, an issue at all, because these threads, uh, well, they serve here just to. And the nut goes now very nicely in. Do we have burr there so that I couldn't? Okay, good. This goes there. There is some, but it goes there. Very nice. Okay, and then I can have my nut here. Like that. Ten millimeter. No, that was not ten millimeter. That was something else. Thirteen, I believe. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So now, <coughs> well, uh, this is my BS zero dividing head. Well, uh, it's uh, <coughs> at the moment it's uh, well. Set up for milling uh, module one seventeen teeth gear. So uh, <laughs> gear plank is that small thing there. <laughs> yeah, all this around here is uh, just to make this to happen. So uh, first of all, uh, this uh, mandrel is now dialed in 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 a very good center. There is at the surface of this gear plank. There is less than uh, one hundredth of a millimeter deviation. And then uh, we have a tailstock supporting it. And uh, well, uh, then I have adjusted this cutter to the center line. And uh, furthermore, I touched the surface previously. And uh, then I moved it uh, to here. And now the cutting depth uh, will be. Uh, 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 2.166 millimeters. Uh, as well, I as I could uh, dial that in uh, with this, but uh, actually it's uh, pretty near. Uh, well, uh, I'm running this 100 revolutions per uh, minute, and I'm feeding 20 millimeters per minute, which is rather slow. Uh, but I want to have a decent surface finish with this, so that is the reason for a very slow feed. Well, uh, I think we are quite ready to go with this one. Oh yeah, uh, one thing about setting up this uh, dividing head. So, uh, uh, about this thing here. So, uh, it was 17 teeth here. So, 17 is a prime number. Uh, meaning that you cannot divide it uh, only by itself and uh, one. Uh, so it's a prime number. So uh, I either must have a, a dividing disk with 17 holes in it, or uh, a multiple of that 17 holes. Well, conveniently I have uh, 17 holes. It's the fourth row, row from there. One, two, three, four. And... Uh, uh, well, uh, you have to have get for each teeth, it will be 40 holes from that uh, 17 hole uh, ring. So it will be two turns plus six holes. And now these sector arms are uh, made so that if you count one, two, three, four, five, and finally six. So I can uh, rotate this like two turns and uh, six holes more. Then we get uh, the uh, required 40 holes uh, and uh, it will be the next deed. And furthermore, I start always from a zero position so I can always go back if uh, the need be. Well, yeah. And I'm going to use a rock paste. I will uh, uh, 
now when I start milling, I will uh, put the rock paste into this uh, workpiece. So, yeah, okay, that's it.
Okay, now, uh, uh, well, these gears are now cut, but, uh, well, uh, they are too thick. Well, uh, there is a very good surface on the other side and uh, not so very good on the other side. So I gave them uh, just a little bit of a lap and now uh, these sides of the gears are such that they ring. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, very good sign, uh, means that they are flat and uh, so on, but they are really too thick at the moment, six millimeters actually. So uh, what we need to do is to make them thinner. <laughs> and uh, well, uh, this uh, means that uh, from the bad side, uh, I make it equally good uh, for the good side. Uh, we peel off uh, one millimeter, uh, but how how do you? Well, no, <laughs> I don't uh, put them directly into the chuck. It's 19 millimeters. I could probably use a uh, uh, collet chuck, but then uh, having this straight in a collet chuck is uh, is an issue. So, uh, what I will now do is to make yet another mandrel. And uh, it will be, this is, uh, I think, 12 millimeters in diameter. And I will make uh, their uh, portion of 8 millimeters and then uh, a solder. And then I glue one of these into there and then I start peeling it uh, facing the end until it's, uh, uh, well, uh, the needed five millimeters. So, oh well. <coughs> well, this is uh, a very simple turning operation once again. Ah. Maybe there. Yeah, and I will really glue it there, so that's, uh, that's it. Aha, uh -huh. we have... Okay. Uh, it's uh, good speed. <laughs> So now I will uh, first face it somewhat. And uh, well, uh, I stop talking. I have a pretty uh, nasty uh, flu at the moment. So, <laughs> uh, so uh, talking is a little bit of an issue at the moment. So I will uh, like face it and uh, then uh, make uh, the uh, 8 mm diameter. I also make an additional hole inside there, 4 mm hole. And uh, well, it, it makes it easier to face it because uh, it, I don't need to go to the absolute center. Yeah, okay. That's the next job.
Okay, it's now glued into place. And uh, well, next step will be to make it a little bit thinner. Uh, well, I measure it in, uh, and it's uh, six millimeters thick at the moment, and uh, our goal is five. Well, I will first take like uh, 0 0.1 millimeters. Let's see how this goes. Okay. And, uh, this time use some oil. Okay, I'll measure it now. Need to dial in the next tenth of a millimeter there, like that. Well, this is now as exactly five millimeters. Uh, as I can get it. And uh, now I just uh, pull it out from there and, uh, well, uh, I have to warm this up to break the bond of the glue and uh, then next, next work piece. Okay, so now I uh, finalized uh, these uh, gears and, uh, well, it was uh, quite tedious. Uh, because a lot of fitting uh, had to be made in order to get them uh, into this point when they just go there, like that, and also rotate. This still has some tight spots, but uh, those uh, will, uh, well, I'm pretty sure when it's operated, uh, those will go away, unless it starts culling, uh, which I hope it will not. This one was a little bit easier. It goes into there. Oh. And what I noticed uh, is that the tolerances are here so tight that even uh, small splinters from this wood stick uh, will, uh, will uh, do binding here. But it uh, can be rotated full turn around like that. And even if you have this is the, uh, an 8 mm uh, uh, shaft, it comes uh, through from there. Even if that it is in place, you can still rotate them. Which is, uh, well, it's a little bit tighter. Yeah. Yeah, it, uh, I'm, uh, no, it's just, uh, yeah, now it works. Maybe some uh, wood stick uh, points there, but uh, yeah, anyway, when it's operated, it will uh, like align itself uh, into the correct uh, dimensions. And now uh, these, uh, the thickness of uh, these is inside one hundredth of a millimeter, so they are really precise. And uh, these are, hopefully they come through away. Oh. Uh. Oh, first one, down, there is a loose spot, ah. it's not easy to get them out, now, there you are, yeah, so, so far so good. That uh, ah, two gears, uh, uh, gear pump gears, and uh, well, <coughs> they are uh, actually quite uh, precise, and they work well. <coughs> oh, 
and I have this flu, so let's make this short. So, uh, yeah, in the next episode uh, there will be, well, uh, first of all uh, I will test the pump. <laughs> I will make a makeshift uh, shaft for that to rotate it and uh, see if it is really pumping anything. And uh, <coughs> then uh, uh, we start to make the cylinder. But yeah, uh, it's uh, a little bit bigger piece of iron. Uh, well, uh, a lot of uh, boring. A lot of boring in that one. A lot of metal removal. Uh, well, let's see. Uh, it uh, will be in the next episode of Pinocchio Quasi. Ah, till then. Bye!